now they don't even have like any of the lesser category. Well, lesser, I say, because that's how they classify. They don't even have any of those categories on the, on the main show anymore. They have them like the day before. Uh-huh. But in those days, it started at like 12 in the afternoon. And then by the time you got to 8 o'clock at night with all of the big pop categories, you know, you had been sitting there for eight hours. But, you know, so, man, you go through all of this preparation. You fly to L.A., you get your... Hotel, you get all, man, you get Suited all, up. yeah. <laughs> man, the first time, my, my grandma, I took my grandmother. Man, we were sitting there, and then they got to my category, and they was like, and contemporary jazz, such, 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 such and the winner is such and such, and next. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, it's over, wow. man. She's like, well, what am I going to do now? Wow. But let me ask you a question, though. I mean... Because I've always wanted to know this. I all, you know, everyone knows what the Grammys are, you know. I've always wanted to know how it affects their career later by winning the Grammy. But I want to know from you in particular, did that, did that nomination affect your career in any way? Um, I don't think it affected my career. I think it affected me more, more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, there used to be a lot of prestige with just being nominated because all the insiders know it's really hard to be right. nominated. Right. I was just telling somebody that the other yeah. day. It's like it's not just yeah. oh, you know. To win to to win, it's 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 probably highly political and that's mm-hmm. it's the name you know. But to actually be nominated, if you knew if you understood the process of nomination, anybody affiliated can submit someone to be right. nominated. Mm-hmm. So and we just got the we just got like they just opened up the pre, um, preliminary list for um, submissions, I think, last week. Mm-hmm. By the time the, the the round of submissions are over, there are literally maybe thousands of, of names per category uh-huh. that you have to sift through. So, because anybody could submit if they're affiliated with with um, with the Grammys. Mm-hmm. So just to so just to be whittled down to those six people that actually are nominated in the category right. is a astonishing yeah, feat in itself. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, but it but you know it's like anything else. So it all it it's still um, maybe I, I'm not sure how it was before I became involved, but I know that there used to be a lot of prestige uh, attached to winning, of mm-hmm. course, and then there was a lot of prestige attached to just being nominated. But like most things. It becomes a popularity contest, mm-hmm. and even with me, and, and I'm not, and I'm not putting this on anybody because I've done it myself. I can't, I can't lie. When you start looking at that list, man, the list is so huge, and you and you go and you like, oh shit, they go Julie Dex. Uh, All right, yeah, Julie, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what that's what you do. Yeah. And so, and if you can imagine when you get to to the to the scale where you get Marcus Miller, David Sanborn, Russell Gunn. Such and such, such and such. People are like Marcus Miller. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? David Sanborn. Because it's just easier. Uh-huh. You you know, it's the name you know, it's politics. <laughs>